Welcome back. If you've been watching for the full challenge, I appreciate it and thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you've learned something along the way, as I have and every time I play Magic. We are currently sitting at 17th here. We're going for our last match, match round 7, I believe. I believe we are only at 7 rounds this challenge. This does put us out of top 8, but it doesn't put us out of the potential of top 16. So we'll definitely play our hardest and, and see if we can't just squeeze right in there in the top 16. Again, that would be a great back-to-back -back finish here from a top 8 last challenge to a top 16 this challenge. Playing that Pyro Prison, if you're brand new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Hey, we got the, we got the play. Things are looking up. Let's go ahead and play first. Notably missing from this entire challenge has been something like Tron. Maybe we'll find them here. We got Mulligan this. It doesn't really... It doesn't do a whole lot. Walking Ballista is on two, on turn two, or mm -hmm. on... Or, um, sorry, on one, one counter, mm -hmm. or two counters on turn three. I think I'm mulliganing this. Uh, this does a little bit more for me. I think we'll go ahead and keep this. I may name something very interesting with this cavern, depending on what's on the top. Ritual is on the top, so we're going to go ahead and play cavern. We're actually going to name human here to confuse my opponent. If they are blue-white, obviously this is a bad play, but I'm, I'm guessing they're probably not. We are late enough in the tournament as well that hopefully this will kind of confuse my opponent. Now, if they do do a Thought Seize here, because they did play Bobble, and that is usually associated with Grixis Death Shadow, then we're going to be uh, struggling here. <clears throat> they do get to see the top of our deck, though, and so they do see that it's red <laughs> in a Desperate Ritual. Uh, perhaps a little confused by the name of humans and seeing that. Polluted Delta for my opponent, and no other actions. Now, we can go ahead and Ritual out. I might Ritual out and try to slam Gr Rabble Master here on the idea that they're not going to counter this and expecting to counter Blood Moon behind this. So we're going to do that instead of Blood Moon. I fully expect this to get killed, but if we can entice them to get something other than a basic here, then I feel good. There we go, non-basic. Fatal push. Fatal push is slightly late here. The trigger has already gone on the stack. So we'll get one goblin here. We will go ahead and attack. <clears throat> Alright, so one thing we're kind of afraid of is maybe like Gurmag Angler here. I wouldn't mind seeing like a Thought Scour or something. I don't want to see any more uh, blue tap, so if they'll tap this down, that'd be nice. They do. Looks like we're going to have a Gurmag Angler, so we're going to just have to beat a Gurmag Angler. Just have to beat a Gurmag Angler. One, two, three, four, five, six. They need one more. Let's go ahead and attempt a Blood Moon here. Expecting a Stubborn Denial. Unfortunately, we don't have the extra mana. I'm not going to attack in here. They're at 14. I fully expect them to... Oh, well, okay. They're going to dismember anyway. Shocking in. What are we looking at here? A Death Shadow. It's a 5-5. Five, five. And a Gurmag Angler? Best top deck here would be a Bridge, probably. I think the bridge is probably the best thing to top deck right now. We top deck a Blood Moon. We'll go ahead and play that to shut everything off. We have kind of one turn here. And if they have Team or Battle Rage, we're just in a lot more a lot more pain. <laughs> um, we could draw a blocker. Street Wraith, Street Wraith. 14 damage here. Team or Battle Rage. Alright, we're at 6. Land. All right, we do get a Legion War Boss. This could potentially give us one more draw. They didn't team or battle rage last turn. <clears throat> this will put us at one, assuming no team or battle rage from my opponent. I will be blocking Death Shadow, obviously, and I'll go to one. It looks like. 
This actually gives us Chandra as an out here too, because we can swing for one and then Chandra uptick. We hit an Abrade. Abrade will not do it, unfortunately. I guess Slagstorm would have been a tie. Could have, we could have went for the tie. We'll block here. I'm expecting to die though. All right. What to do, what to do? I am curious what our next card was. And it looks like Magic Online's not gonna show me. All right. Eidolons are gonna come in, Hazard's gonna come in, the bridge is gonna come in, Welding Jar can come in here, and Tormod Script is a maybe. We're gonna get rid of Karn. Karn's too slow at this point, and some of Braids. Probably just good like this. Tormod Script to clear the graveyard in fear of a Gurmag Angler. It's not the best card, but I think it's okay. I could be looking at a Chroma instead of maybe a Braid, but a Braid can help us get uh, some Gurmag Anglers off depending on where they're at. Walking Ballista hits face, Chalice and One's really good, Blood Moon's really good as well in this matchup. Eidolon's gonna pressure my opponent, and Eidolon's a bit of a double-edged sword. So our opponent can kill Eidolon with the Dismember and actually take six, and that can be very devastating. On the flip side, if we get them low enough, then they can't really play into our Eidolons because they'll die too quickly. So we're going to bring these couple things in. Again, Welding Jar is a bit of a, a maybe. Karn is probably just too late. Maybe I keep one Karn in if I could maybe convince myself that the Braid isn't very good or something else. We are a touch weaker to this matchup mainly because I've cut a bridge in the main. I'm reconsidering that a little bit with a couple of the matchups we ran into. It is hard to decide though because you're balancing between what I've seen last challenge, what I've seen this challenge, what I'm seeing in the leagues, what you're seeing at your FNM, your GPs, your big star city games or channel ball, channel, channel fireball events. Of course I'd like to play first. Okay, this is a turn two war boss, but if we don't turn two the war boss, I'm not sure what we're doing here. And we don't have really red mana. This hands is a bit sketchy here. I think I want to mulligan it and look for something else. Again, the welding jar is not great. We even said the abrade's not very good. So we're looking at maybe these five. I think I can do better than that. All right, this feels a little bit better. It does kind of go all in here on the Blood Moon, but if they don't Thought Seize and they leave up Stubborn Denial, we can play around that. We do have the Cavern, probably a weaker card. We do get a Scry as well. I think we're going to need to keep this. Rabble Master's fine to see on top. So if they get rid of Blood Moon here, we get to play a Rabble Master. Blue Delta. Bobble. When they crack this and see that we have a Rabble Master, I think they might hesitate here on this Polluted Delta. Similar play from last time. Polluted Delta is being cracked here immediately. Fetch and Shock, we're leaving a Watery Grave open. I'm wondering if I can get them to not bite here on my first Ritual. Sweet. We are clear for this Blood Moon. The Ritual is clear of a Stubborn Denial here. They didn't bite on the first Ritual. They're going to probably Stubborn Denial this. Going to just say yes. We paid for it. We go to three. We get a Blood Moon. We pass turn. We should be fairly good here. They might have the basic, though, in hand. They're digging. We have the speed behind this, and they do know about this uh, Rabble Master. I'm gonna just play it like this. <clears throat> Rabble Master gets in here for damage. 
I didn't play the Cavern of Souls. I can't name anything while Blood Moon's out. Not that it should be relevant in this matchup, but just a small nuance. Opponent is looking for their basic here, and they do not find it, so we get a concession. We haven't seen Chalice, really. We've been seeing Blood Moon, so maybe we can get a Chalice and some sort of gemstone or ritual effect. Bridge was a good one right behind that. I think we run it back. I don't see any changes that I want. Obviously, Karn is a little bit slow here. Bridges are great. Blood Moon is obviously great. My opponent chose to not fetch a basic. That's on them. They certainly could have. I think if you have some cantrips or something, it's it could be worthwhile. You are looking for your second land anyway, and it allows you to play magic. If I was a Grixis Death Shadow player and I know that my opponent is very aggressively trying to get Blood Moon, I would entertain a putting my main game plan off if it meant that I could play a couple more turns. They obviously felt very safe with the Stubborn Denial. They didn't have to necessarily fetch right away. They kind of did, and then they just shocked and like sat there. I thought they were going to Thought Seize me, honestly. We're going to keep this. This has a lot of good things going for it. We have Aggression. We have a Chalice on 1. We have a Blood Moon. We have a Scry Land. So I like all of this. I'm expecting them to go get their basics, but they're choosing not to. They're already at 13 here. So we Thought Seize. They've got to take, I assume, one of these. Simeon Spirit Guide's probably the best thing off the top. We'll see if we can't spike a Simeon Spirit Guide here. The other thing we have going for us is we do have the Rabble Master. So if they watch their life total a little bit, and it's, it's, it's a little lower, uh, Rabble Master could also be a threat. Hand's pretty stacked against them, though. They take Blood Moon. Probably smart. All right, we don't spike our Simeon Spirit Guide. We'll check the Void here and Scry. It's an additional Rabble Master. We'll go ahead and play that. Our line here might be Rabble Master, Rabble Master. Might be Rabble Master, Rabble Master. My opponent is at 11 life. We will just have to see. Obviously, the Chalice is really good against them. We just may not get that chance here. What do you got? Another Thought Seize here. Hand hasn't changed. We got a Mountain. That was the only thing that changed here. I'm expecting them to consider taking this Chalice if they don't have the Death Shadow right now. That would be my guess. They don't know what our top deck is here. So if they have one removal, they're like, great, we can take care of Rabble Master. Maybe, maybe there's a single token left over, but they don't know the second Rabble Master is coming. They do take the Rabble Master, which is, which is, which is rough. I think here I'm gonna go ahead and, and really, I'm really thinking that I should just play my Chalice on one. This obviously delays Rabble Master for a turn, but if they, They have a fatal push or they have something else. I don't really want to deal with it. I understand my opponent could be just playing Gurmag Angler here. They didn't shock and play something on one. It makes me think that they didn't really have it. So the, the Rabble Master might have been smarter. We'll see. I, th I think this is going to be like a Gurmag Angler though. And that's fine. Gurmag Angler and then they have something that doesn't counter here. Uh, Blood Moon is kind of cool. And I think Blood Moon's actually worth it here. And then we'll pass turn. My opponent Thought Scours. It doesn't do a whole lot. We just give him red mana. Obviously, Team or Battle Rage is about the only thing I'm worried about now. We kind of shut all their colors off. They'll attack for five here. They do know... No, they, uh, they do not know about Rabble Master, I think. Chandra and Rabble Master would be kind of cool here. Maybe being a little bit greedy. <laughs> One thing they could have is Dismember. So Dismember is definitely in a play here. They are kind of F6 though. I think we're ahead here. I think we're ahead. I'm not going to counter our win yet. It's close. 
We're a, we're a teamer battle rage away from something going wrong here. I think I have to let this hit me. It's a pretty good draw. I'm going to go ahead and run it out here. We will be blocking with this Rabble Master. And I think we'll have enough damage across here that a teamer battle rage shouldn't kill us. This is lethal, by the way. Our opponent gives us the GG's. They were some, some aggressive draws. This is eight. Ooh. They gave us the GG's. They gave us the GG's. We, we, we definitely... Considering how one of the Hollow One matches went... Uh, I don't know. You could make an argument that we were, were due for just a bit of luck there. It doesn't put us into top eight, but it definitely gives us a great finish here. That's gonna that's gonna conclude the challenge probably. We're gonna draw some some non air there. We're at seventeenth place right now. We're gonna probably hop up a few positions as well. That's gonna end it for this match, and then we'll probably have the conclusion because there won't be more than likely a top eight. I believe we needed a six and one or seven zero to get the top eight this this time. But a little bit of back-to-back, -back, a little bit of back-to-back, -back, not too bad. Pretty happy with the result. We'll be right back for the conclusion after, uh, after the challenge completes, guys. See you in there.